Now, in your opinion, how do you think things are going to play out over the next year or so as these bigger companies are asking some of their workforce to give up a luxury that some of them have become so accustomed to? First of all, let me just say implied in your question is that during the pandemic, we all came to a screeching halt and a couple things happened. Number one, we had to interface as human beings. There was no veneer of perfection. Why? Because most of us didn't know how to blur yet. We had to like, we were at home. We, we were where we were. We were showing of ourselves. We were vulnerable. We had lots of things to contend with, different emotions about being in that situation. So we became human beings, which, which elevated the need for leaders and managers to equip themselves and others to, to kind of connect. Let's just say, let's just call that the human being phenomenon that happened over the pandemic. The other thing that happened was choice. And so we were out of choice because we couldn't go to the office. And now we've been exposed to a world where, wow, I, I got, I got stuff done. You know, if you're a knowledge worker, if, if you're not, if you're not in, we're not in the industrial age, if you're, if you don't need equipment to get your job done and that's, that's housed in a specific place. Technically, you can get your job done wherever you are. And so I think a huge dilemma now is navigating taking choice away when, in fact, choice was provided not by any human decision. No leader said, okay, well, now you can experiment working from home. No, like the world stopped. And so what I see happening is this great need to have connection and to have communication and interpersonal sort of time together in person. And that that builds culture and it creates learning and it creates intellectual sharing and growth. And organizations are deciding, leaders in organizations are deciding what that looks like. I think some people will defect as a result because they don't want to follow the rules. And I think what we're going to find is that this is people's livelihoods. And, you know, if we're admitting it, we actually do feel good getting together some of the time. And I don't think we've quite seen the full fallout yet, Drew. I think Mm -hmm. the truth is we're still, I see experimentations still. And I also see like hard and fast rules where I think people's potential impact at work, discretionary effort will be impacted as a result of being told where to be, you know, when they do their job. 